Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's morning musings is Quantum Leaps. I'm doing a series of morning musings, and I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a while back, and the world has completely transformed since then. So if I encounter anything that is out of date, I will interrupt myself and give you the most recent information. At the end, if necessary, I will summarize the topic based on what's going on in the world today. Quantum leaps. And the time came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. Anais Nin. I define quantum leaps as stepping beyond your limits to a new expanded reality, though often accompanied by a physical leap of some sort. When I decided to go to Fintorn for the first time, it was a huge stretch for me. I had two young children at home and hadn't been anywhere by myself in years. A family crisis seemingly had passed, so I committed my emergency fund to afford an introductory week there. In the months that unfolded from that time that I made that commitment to the time I actually flew there, my income went up dramatically, so much so that I was able to afford a second week and still came home with the original emergency fund intact. Findhorn transformed me. It healed the experience with my previous spiritual community and opened me to a whole new way of being in the world. It also helped me take the next step, which was to leave my irreparably damaged marriage. That leap resulted in years of poverty and hardship, but also tremendous spiritual growth. It's interesting to note that when things were the most difficult was also when miracles occurred. Support came out of left field in totally unexpected ways. There's a scene in one of the Indiana Jones movies where Indy is running through a passageway inside a mountain and abruptly comes out into a fog-filled abyss. He hesitates a moment and then steps out into it. The fog clears to reveal a crystal bridge. Quantum leaps are initiated by your inner being, your expanded self, spirit, essence, consciousness. When you heed them and step forward, support appears. You are being called to break through your perceived limitations and step into a bigger experience. The instinct to stay safe but contracted is a distorted one. Being contracted is not safe. It's a slow death. You may or may not be called to a quantum leap at this time. You may be urged to take a baby step. Look at yourself and your life at present. Are things going well? Are things moving or flowing? Do you have enough money flowing? in? Are you in a loving relationship or in a loving relationship with yourself? Are you expressing your creativity? Then perhaps all you need is maintenance steps to keep the current energy moving. Or is there one or more major areas of your life that seem stuck and not moving? Whatever the reason, it indicates that you are ripe for a quantum leap. Look at what would break you outside the box or propel you forward. What risk is required for you to regain your true self? Maybe it's something you've been wanting to do for a while. Maybe it's an action that you haven't let yourself consider until now. Does it require a baby step, a minor course correction, or a quantum leap? This week, let yourself actually plan to make the required change, if not actually do it, and see what miracles happen when you do. And leave me a comment below. I'd love to read your comments. I would say that's still pretty current, and we're all being called forward. We don't have to make quantum leaps necessarily. Sometimes they are baby steps. Sometimes we don't want to completely destroy our reality. We kind of like it. We just want to do a mild remodel. And I would imagine, especially if the external world seems very chaotic, that we'd have the instinct to want to hunker down. And it may not be a matter of making a quantum leap during a hurricane, but it may be a matter of learning to center more strongly within yourself to be able to handle all the external chaos. So if you like these videos, please click the like button and also click the thumbs up to subscribe. That way you tell YouTube to share these far and wide and get this information out to someone who really needs it. And if you want a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skybox technique and get an expanded view of your life. And if you want to learn some manifestation techniques, click on the link below to Manifesting Money and Miracles. It's a self-study course where you learn how to change the frequencies within you to completely transform your external reality. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. I do individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going on in your life today. And I can answer any questions that you might have, relationships, the future, money, jobs. I also talk to dead people and it's all recorded just for you. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, Manifesting Money and Miracles is a great preparation for my coaching special where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and I give you specifically chosen consciousness techniques so that you can transform your life. So go to my website, joan-dukum.com, and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.